Hi viewers, welcome to the NSK YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create this type of connection in Tecla structures with this example. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian environment. Now I'm going to create beam. So click on this beam and zoom it and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. In our example, we have overall length 6000 beam and we have two parts here 3000, 3000 and profile we have ISMB 250. So use the shortcut control 4 for render view and double click on this beam to edit. By default we have ISMB 300, in our example we have ISMB 250. So click on here and you can select from here ISMB 250 then click on apply ok. Now click on modify to see the result. You can see now this beam should be ISMB 250. Now close this window. Now we are going to split this beam into two parts. So click on edit and select this split option and select this beam and pick position at middle point. Right click on mouse interrupt and use the shortcut control R and pick the rotation point here junction and use the control and mouse middle button to rotate like this. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on switch, right click on mouse redraw view. Okay, to differentiate you can change this color. So double click on this beam and click on here. Let's take class 5. Now click on modify and close it. Okay, now I'm going to create connection between these two beams with this example. You can see like this. Go to application components by using the shortcut control F. In search bar type number 14 and scroll it down and you will get this component joining plates number 14 component select this component and pick the main part as a left beam and pick the second part as a second beam right click on mouse interrupt now close this window click on space right click on mouse redraw view you can see by default connection like this use the shortcut shift 4 for render view for components okay now i'm going to edit this connection as per our design information so double click on this connection click on this parts tab in parts you can control this plate thickness for example we have plate thickness 10 millimeters so enter here 10 secondary end plate and primary end plate now click on modify to see the result you can see now this plate thickness should be 10 millimeter now click on this bolt tab in bolts you can control this bolt size and bolt spacing so in our example we have bolt size 20 millimeters so enter here 20 and enter tolerance 2 millimeter by default now click on modify you can see now this bolt size should be 20 millimeter. Now coming to spacing in lengthwise direction. We have in section AA in the lengthwise we have edge distance 80 millimeter. So enter here 80 and here also 80. Now coming to number of bolts in horizontal direction we have 1 and 2. So enter here 2 and spacing we have 100 millimeter. So enter 100. Now click on modify to see the result. You can see you will get like this. Now coming to widthwise, we have edge distance 30 millimeters on widthwise. So enter here 30 and here also 30. Number of bolts in vertical direction we have 2. So enter here 2. And spacing between these two bolts we have 80 millimeters. So enter 80 millimeter. Now click on modify. You can see you will get like this. Now click on modify, apply, OK. Click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. Use the shortcut control 2 for shaded view for beams you'll get like this okay that's it about how to create this type of connection in tecla structures with this example if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tecla structure related videos I hope this video is might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button. If you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video. So please click on subscribe. Okay. Thank you.